Hi everybody, I'm Jerry Cates. Welcome to the Power Block Revolution Show. Today we're going to talk about want versus desire. And you'll want to stick around because I'm going to give you some mindset shifts that you can apply to your life. Let's see if I can do this without the gloves. All right, okay. So want versus desire. So think of want as something like reaching for something, but never quite getting it right? Want. I want something. Want doesn't say I have something. Want says I've yet to get it. So when we're affirming what we want, <laughs> um, we might want to do what, or affirm what we desire. Now think of this one, desire. The uh, meaning of desire, the word desire, the metaphysical meaning, what the star shall bring. Isn't that more in alignment with what you want to create? That's more open, right? It's knowing that there's a force greater than you that you can draw from to help you manifest versus the, I want this. Um, and so let's talk a little bit about um, this want thing, but I'm gonna weave it in here. So I want to invite you to open your mind to possibility because a closed mind seals off your creative solutions and eliminates any possibility for new opportunities, okay? A closed mind keeps you where you are in life. It keeps you stuck right where, you, where, where you've always been and you'll continue to be if you have a closed mind, okay? So things like constant struggle or, or to get ahead or achieve your goal, constant conflicts or obstacles, the ever-present resentments that rear their ugly heads up in each new situation you encounter. See if any of these are your possibility or your, your experience. Um, remorse of not doing or having what you truly dream of. Is there some kind of feeling of, wow, you know, I wish I had done that. Um, it's been said um, by nurses who uh, work with hospice patients. And I remember working with some hospice patients myself and, um, there was a lot of regret for the things they, they should have done or they feel, felt they should have taken advantage of or could have done. You know, so at the end of your life, do you want to be have regret, right? Um, that same regret that you have now for not, you might have now for not um, living your dream. So, okay, let's go a little further. Maybe you envy others because they have what you wanted or what you want, what you feel you should have, right? You wish you were in that person's shoes. So none of these are conducive to success, none of them. Hi, Aunt Sue! <laughs> so none of them are conducive to success. So envision wild horses pent up in a corral, and they yearn to be free. And as long as the fences are up and the gate is locked, the wild horses that desire freedom more than life itself will never be free. And what does this do that to them? They become angry and willing to trample over the person who caged them up just to get free. They blame and resent their keeper for their situation. Each time they see other horses roaming free in the distance, all their anger and resentment and hatred surfaces. And they envy the freedom of the other horses. Now see these wild horses as you see your own dreams and um, for success corralled and caged by your closed mind. Can you see how the horses, um, or as the horses, you become angry, resentful, hating, and envious? Can you see how the closed mind and the emotions it provokes? You know, can you see that how closed that mind is and the emotion it provokes? And react viciously at each other. The horses will react viciously at each other just to get free. So, do you see similarities in, similarities in yourself? What reactions do you have to situations where you feel anger, resentment, or blame? When you truly open your mind, the anger, resentment, and hatred, and um, envy are gone. However, it takes some work to do this on your part. And let's look at how the mind works. A thought is just an action. It's energy in motion. Emotional thoughts carry more energy. When you create a thought, especially one that you feel emotionally, such as the dream of a success, you have created energy that goes out into the universe and allows you to explore, create, and grow the thought. 
the process takes care of itself. All we, we all have thoughts. We don't always achieve our dreams. That's because thoughts may be negative or positive in nature. Even thoughts you believe may be positive in truth might be negative and, um, to your achievement. For example, if you dream of buying a house or to own a new home and your thought is, your thought is I want to buy a home, that sounds like a, a positive thought, right? Actually, it's keeping you from buying the home. Remember what I said about want versus desire? Want is something you're reaching for. It's not something you have. So the other thing is focus. It, it can be another problem. You can constantly think about the new home you want to buy. And you, let's see. It looks different than other homes and floor, floor plans. You know, you pick out the color and everything, and but it's always that I want I want to buy. So getting really clear about what it is you want to create and looking to st at the steps that, that will get you there. And here's the beautiful thing. Think about it this way. Um, your North Star. That's the big vision, right? That's buying the home or having the home, right? Owning the home. There it is. Owning the home. The big vision. And your horizon line, you want to keep focused on your horizon line, which is the next step. What's the next step? What's the next thing I can do to manifest this dream? And then always working on the next step. Very different than I want this and being um, haphazard about it. Or, you know, the thing is, like I talked about the horses getting resentful. You know, your conversation with yourself might be, oh, I'm never going to buy be able to buy a home. You know, it's all stacked against me. Right. So you might want you might have um, the desire to own a home. Um, but if you're sabotaging it with what you're saying, so there's a lot about self-fulfilling prophecy, right? What are you saying to yourself? And you might run, write some of those down so that you can take a look at, is this positive or is this negative? And if it's negative, what words can I change to make it positive? And there's an affirmation that'll really mean a lot to you. It'll, it'll touch deeply, right? Okay, so what did I talk about? Want versus desire. Um, want is something you're... Um, creating in the future, right? You, you can't obta obtain it. Desire is something unfolding, right? You're in possibility. Um, so open your mind to possibilities. Don't be caged in the corral like the horses. Um, and think about where your focus is. You know, um, are you saying negative things or positive things? And remember self-fulfilling prophecy. So, when, or let's see, I'm changing the women's circle to Thursday nights. I'm hoping that'll open it up for some people in their schedule. The women's circle is, we usually talk about what I talked on Monday about today. It'll be about, or this week, it'll be about want versus desire. So you call in, the Zoom links are in the group feed. And it's a really, it's a safe place. It, we create a safe container for you to open up and open your possibilities and speak and be heard so you get to learn new ways of being that you can take out into your own life and here's the other cool thing there's not a lot of ladies coming yet and you get free coaching in this hour so do show up um you know it's a lot of fun women walk away feeling like they've made some kind of shift in caring about themselves so you know me, I'm a crusader for self-love, so make sure you're taking good care of yourself and then love others out of that, okay? Thanks for sticking around, Auntie Sue. Hey, Tori, watch the replay. It's pretty good, I think. <laughs> I'll see you later. I hope you can come. I'm just going to extend this invitation to the Women's Circle. It's now on Thursday night, 6.30 to 7.30 Pacific time. And because there's so few women coming, there's some free coaching involved. You know, there's more of an opportunity for some free coaching. So have an amazing day. I hope to see you Thursday. Bye.